Okay, guys, this is Grandpa Marconi on the internet. Old Grandpa, Corpus Christi, Texas. And I'm going to give you a little sense of my idea on this Wilson discussion going on about if it's got water in it, if it's got a hole in it, uh, if it's good or not, if it can mess up your feed line with water in it, uh, stuck on the top of your pick em up truck or whatever. Uh, you guys, uh, gonna have to understand that this is an old one, probably made in the 90s, 80s or 90s, whenever, but it's old, instead of the new one made by the junk dealers that's got it, I'm uh, making them today, who don't give a hoot about how good it works and how long it lasts. That, that's, that's probably pretty evident. So I, I would go with Booty Monster's recommendation that you probably consider the cereal. It's probably a, uh, a much better uh, durable uh, antenna, but it's uh, probably going to uh, probably going to work just about as good. I mean, what can you do with a little stinger out there that's 60 inches long in a coil type antenna? I mean, how much difference can it make? What well, what could you do to it to make a bigger difference? So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't get, I wouldn't get off into all of that. There's very little difference in the two of them. If if this one was perfect and the serial was perfect would be very little difference. Okay, I'm going to get right to the point. Y'all talk about water getting in through this part of the antenna and through the top. That's possible because, as you can see right here, this little hole is where the stinger goes in, right there. And it's got two little set screws, two little worm screws over here that tighten it down, and it pushes it to this opposite side of this hole. And you know there's a little space in there very small, but it's a little space, and water could sure get in there. And since it's pushed to one side, it's going to open up that hole even more than it would if it's sitting right square in the middle. Okay, so the water could go down in there. Rain comes right down and gets on the on the stinger and goes right down through that hole. Okay, let's see where it's going to go. Well, it's obvious where it's going to go. I've got to take it apart here, but give me a minute. It's just going to go right down there and sit. Sit on top of that stud. Right there, that little stud, that's the threaded stud that brings the current up into the stinger. Okay? Now the only problem is, is if you look real close at this one right here, I see some little glue, remnants of glue around this spot here around the threads. Man, that may have been their effort to seal this area off and keep the water from just spiraling around the grooves in the threads and going right on down past this mounting bracket. I think they did make an effort. The glue is also on the bottom. You can see it right here. See it right there? That's what they seal it up with. That's the glue. You see this stuff right here? This stuff right there? That's probably the remnant of the glue on this side of the uh, two pieces that they put together that they glued. They glued it here and they probably, and they glued down here. So that's probably the remnant of it. You can see that somebody peeled this back off of this hole right here. And that was intended to drain any water that got through this system. But the problem with this whole thing is if you got water in here, it's sitting right up above this pin, and this pin is where your coax hooks in. Your co coax ain't directly hooked here, but there's a, mount, a part on the mount where this pin goes in. Water can come down through this pin, run this pin, and it'll go right down into your coax. That's the worst case scenario. Uh, really, the bad part is if this thing fills up with water or gets enough water in there to short, then you're going to see it on your operation of your radio. And once that water, water goes away or evaporates, uh, then you'll be right back to square one, uh, working just as good as it ever did, probably. So does water... Can water get in here? And does it? I can't tell you if it does, but it looks like it could, or they wouldn't have put that hole in there. I guarantee you them schmucks building these Wilsons today don't give a hoot whether that $50 you spend on this little antenna uh, does, does a good job for you or if it keeps on good, doing a good job for you. Once it leaves their hands, brother, they're running to the bank with your money. That's it. I call them Chinaman manufacturers. Probably got a bunch of Chinamen over there doing it already. Or they're doing it in China. I don't know. But 
something screwy uh, about Wilson uh, since they changed hands. Since uh, Wilson sold it out, it's no way no anymore. The old antennas are pretty good, I thought. This one still works. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure about the old magnet mount part of it, but I bet this thing will still work. Okay, that's about all I've got to say on the subject. Uh, I don't think uh, I don't think you can beat the serial probably for a coil type uh, shortened antenna. As far as I was concerned, I tried to whip on the top of my truck, and I might have been able to discern a smacking difference of a, a bit of difference uh, using a whip over this. I don't know how, remember how long that stinger was. Maybe 60 inches, maybe four or five feet. Five feet, maybe. Yeah, I, 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 I just couldn't tell any difference. Maybe they could tell some difference on the other end. I never ask anybody, but I couldn't tell any difference on on receiving. So I understand that the antenna is supposed to be reciprocal for transmission and receive. So if I saw X on this receive end of this antenna, they should have been seeing X, the same X on their end of the antenna, or else that is bullshit theory. Okay? That's all I got to say, except uh, good luck with your Wilson. If you got a notion to, you might even try drilling a little hole in there if you hadn't got a hole in there. Hit that spot. Of course, you don't want to drill too deep in there and go up into something that matters. But frankly, I don't think there's anything down that low. Down that low. I don't know how thick that is, but I don't think there's anything around. I think most of the stuff is probably up around this area, up, up in here. Because the coil and all that stuff can't go down too far here. So y'all might be all right if you just drill you a little hole in there. You may find it was covered up by this thing and you didn't see it because it was covered up. So if y'all got to think about something, think about that. Common sense goes a long way in understanding radio. Common sense. It's really good for you. Consider it. Okay. Y'all take care of this old grandpa, Corpus Christi, Texas. Broadcasting live and in color on your two-way radio. We'll see you.